Okay, what I want to change here is this, oh, sorry, this section. This is determining how high does he have to go before he's considered to be on the next tile. I was thinking about this backwards. I need to say, like, um, you know what, I'm actually going to say negative 40. I'm just going to try it to the extreme to start with. In other words, you have to actually reach the top of the tile above you before it considers you on that tile. So I'm going to try this. So that works. He should, yeah, he, okay, good. He got basically into the, he gets a little higher before he stopped short. Now he, he doesn't jump at all on the ladder. And uh, notice here we got some glitching. Yeah, we have a few problems. So he doesn't know how to, he doesn't know how to act basically on the ladder yet. We don't have any code for that. But this is how high he can leap. Now I can't move sideways and jump at the same time. Technically, I can sort of. Now, actually, I've noticed, here we go, this is a problem, that while I'm falling, I can, uh, and, and actually while jumping, here we go, I can kind of freak the game out, and I know why. If we go into picture one, key down, right here, look at this. For left and right, we have it, we have the user directly in control of this variable, action one. What happens is, we're jumping into the air and then immediately setting action one. So it doesn't, the code doesn't even have a chance to realize if we're falling or not. We've just, uh, we've, we've basically told him that he's in run mode or he's running. So we need to change that. Um, gonna have to turn these into block ifs. And let's see. So instead of just assuming that action becomes one, we need to say something like <clears throat> if action does not equal, oh, I'm just going to say if it equals zero for standing, or action equals um, if he's crouching, then action equals one. I think it's that simple. There's, there should only be a couple that he's allowed to. Uh, switch over from. So let's try this and see if this happens to fix the problem. That would be nice. Then get rid of this and that should work. Okay, that's if I tap the buttons at the same time I can, I'm trying to break him basically. I want to see if I can Well, I, I can get him to go into the ground, too, which is a problem. I don't know how I'm doing that, but or I'm not sure what's causing it, but I can get him to sink. How are we getting him to sink? And also, he stopped right here. Here we go. I got him to hover in the air. I'm not sure yet what's causing that. I mean, mashing a bunch of keys is always going to have some weird effects some weird side effects because uh, you have to take into account multiple things being pushed at once and I'm just not seeing it yet. Alright, well, you know what, fixing the small problems, I should probably do that later. But we don't have any momentum in right now, so when I jump, I, I don't continue to travel. And we need to have that in there. So... Let's see. We let's see. I'm trying to think of a shortcut. I'm not going to do momentum the right way right now, where it's nice and smooth. I'm just going to set it something simple. It wasn't momentum mo. Here we go mo. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to use momentum right now. This is action two. This is jumping. I'm going to do this. If right key 
equals 1, then, and if left key equals 1, then. I'm just going to have it move this way. If the key is still being held down, let him continue to kind of float from one side to the other. And that would be the same as running. So, if he's going to what is right should be plus 5, and this should be minus 5. And then we need to figure out if he has uh, traveled too far for hitting walls. You know, if he's if he's trying to f basically travel into a wall, we don't want him to be able to do that. And I think, oh, I need this code too. So a lot of repeat stuff. I think that's it. Let's try it out. Well, and you know what? I don't need anything for the less than 20. I don't need, because this is only for him going in the positive direction, and this doesn't need any of the positive stuff, since it's only him going in the negative direction. So let me try and see if I can jump at angles. I can't fall at angles, but you probably can tell that he is jumping, at least. I have control over how he jumps. So what I'm going to do is take this whole section for basically floating right or left, depending, and I'm going to put it into the fall section for action three. Um, I'm just going to paste it in. Let's try it. Let's see if I can, can continue to control as I fall, and I should be able to change direction to, oh, I need direction stuff. Um, break key equals one, then, uh, what is... What, what are the directions again? One is left, so D equals zero, should be going to the right, and D equals one. So D equals zero, and D equals one, let me put it up here. Is that how it was? No, zero and then one. Okay. This way I can change direction in the air too. Now what we might want to do, it's, just, it's kind of choppy, so I need to figure out why it's so choppy. Yeah, it's very choppy, I don't like that. I wonder what would be causing it. Now what's nice is he does stop on the ladder, basically. We should probably do ladder next. Let's do the ladder next. Yep, can't clear the pit. Oh well. But I can jump out. Um, another thing that you guys have probably noticed is I can't... Um, the screen doesn't scroll, so we can lose him quite easily. Well, I want to see if I can jump the pit. So close few little problems here and there. Um, I can kind of go up the ladder just by jumping, but that's not really what we want eventually, of course. Oh, running off the ladder causes some problems. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea for that one. If we're running, I, I think it, I just caught something. <sighs> the alarm... Wow, time flies by between these things. All right, well, what I want to do as soon as I'm done recording the video is if you're running, it's detecting to see if you should start falling, right? Or where are we at? Um, when, when you've been jumping, it detects. It'll cause action to become equal to three. I need to find other places. Basically, every action should have some spot where if uh, it needs to check to see if you need to fall. Like coming off the ladder when he's running, there's no code in here to detect whether or not he is above the ground. And we need that. So, let me save the video.